This is Mr. Magnifico and in this video I have something slightly different. In this video I am going to show you how to create a simple game in Scratch 3. So to begin with I am going to choose a sprite and in this case the sprite I am going to choose is the crab. The crab is a bit big so I am going to reduce the size to 80. If that's still too big so I am going to change it to 70. Next I need to go to events and select the block that says when the green flag is clicked. This means when I click the green flag I want a particular action to take place. For that I am going to click on the control blocks and choose the if and then block. This is so that when I click left and right I can move the character left and right. And in order to tell it to do that I need to click sensing and choose the block that says key space pressed with a question mark on it. Next I need to make sure that the key is the right key and not space. Now I'm going to place this into the hexagon on the if block. As you can see it highlights as I drop it. Now it reads if key right is pressed then perform an action. And the action I want it to perform is to change x by 10. The reason for choosing change x by 10 rather than move is that with change x and change y it gives me the option of choosing the direction and the speed at which it moves so because it's moving horizontally i'm going to choose the change x by 10 if it was moving up and down it would be change y now i can test this by connecting it to the event block and testing it as we can see it does move forward but we have to keep doing this so in order to address this i'm going to use another block in the controls and this is the forever block what this means is that once the green flag is clicked it will keep doing this over and over and over again now I don't have to keep pressing the green flag I pressed it once now that works as expected so to do the same code for moving the character left we we'll just have to duplicate this so I can do this by right clicking on it if you're using a Chromebook you will have to use the alt key and then clicking Next, I need to change the key right arrow pressed to left arrow as I want it to move left. So now I change it to left arrow and instead of change x by 10, it's going to be by minus 10 as it is moving in the opposite direction. Now I can also test this by clicking the green flag and pressing the left and right keys. As you can see, it's now moving left and right. The next step would be to choose a backdrop. You can click this by clicking choose a backdrop or you can paint your own. But for this stage I'm going to choose an existing one. And I think the desert makes the crab stand out. So I've selected the desert and now the crab is in the desert. Next I'm going to select the second sprite. So I can do that by clicking the little cat icon and selecting a sprite. This sprite is something that the crab will catch and gain points from catching it. So I'm going to select a strawberry as I believe strawberries are nice. Now the strawberry is a bit big so like the crab I'm going to make the size a lot smaller. Now 10 is too small so I'm going to choose a slightly bigger size 50. That looks perfect. So I'm going to choose size 50. the next part I'm going to create some code that will make the strawberry fall down in random positions on the screen. So to do this of course I need to click the when the green flag is clicked and then go down to motion and select the block that says go to x minus 6 y 150. I am going to change these values but this is the block I need. I want the starting position of the strawberry to be randomly across the top so before it falls it will move randomly from the left to the right to do this I'm going to go to operators and pick random 1 to 10 for this I will need to know the edge of the screen which is x minus 219 and the other end of the screen which is x 225 now I can choose any numbers between there so I'm going to choose x minus 
two 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 and positive two two two. That means it will fall somewhere between these numbers at random. And whilst it's doing that, I also want it to fall down at a particular rate. So to do this, I'm going to do repeat until the strawberry reaches the bottom. This is the Y axis. So to do this, I need the operator that says something is less than 50. This is the operator I'm going to use. This will allow the loop to keep going until the position of Y is less than a particular number. To find that number, I'm going to pick the strawberry up and bring it to the bottom of the screen. And we can see it's almost minus 160. So I think minus 160 is the number we can choose here. The next step would be to get the position of Y as the strawberry is going down the Y axis. So to do that, I need to go to motion and insert the Y position. So now the repeat loop will keep going as long as the Y position is less than minus 160. Once it reaches that, it will stop. And what I want it to do whilst it's going is to change the Y by minus 10. So now the strawberry will fall. And of course, if I want it to fall slower, I can make the number smaller. And if I want it to fall faster, I can make the number larger. Now, as you can see here, when I click the first command block, it moves left and right at random positions. When I click the second block, it falls down the screen all the way to the bottom and then stops. And as previously, I don't want to have to keep clicking it. So I'm going to use a forever loop and put both of these pieces of blocks inside the forever loop. And as you can see on the screen, it's falling down randomly at random positions. This is what the code should look like. The position of Y in the go to X loop will stay as 150 as this is the very top of the screen. When the crab catches the strawberry, I want it to disappear. To do this, I need another if then block. And in the sensing, I'm going to select the first one which says touching. And I must make sure that it says when touching crab. So if Touching the crab, then I'm going to go to looks and go scroll down to select hide. Now, when the strawberry touches the crab, it will hide, as we can see here. But of course, there will be more than one strawberry, so we need to bring it back. To do that, we need to insert the show block in the forever loop. The next step is to insert the if block into the forever loop. To make sure that all of this keeps happening without any intervention. Now, as I touch the strawberry, it disappears. Now I'm going to insert a third sprite. This will be something that the crab should not catch. If the crab catches this, it will lose points or end the game. Uh, not an apple, an apple's nice. Let's try an egg. Now I want the egg to fall in the exact same way as the strawberry and end in the same place as the strawberry, including hiding when the crab catches it. Now to do this simply, all I have to do is pick up all of the cord from the strawberry and hover it over the egg and let go. Now the whole of the cord for strawberry has also been copied onto the egg. And if we test it here, we can see they both fall down now and they will both disappear if I catch them. What I want to do now is end the game when the crab catches the egg by mistake. So I'm going to click on the egg and then I'm going to go to events and then select broadcast new message. And this message I'm going to call it game over. Press OK. Next I'm going to pick the block up and put it right under the hide block. This will hide the egg and then it will broadcast the message game over. But whilst it's doing that, it will also stop all the code. For this, I need the control stop all. Now when the egg touches the crab, it will stop all the code and it will be game over. So to show that it is game over, we are going to create a game over screen. To do this, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom where it says 
backdrops and I'm going to click on the backdrop. This time I'm going to select paint. This will allow me to create my own screen and I can write the text game over. So I'm going to click on the new screen and I'm going to select convert to bitmap. Once I've converted to bitmap I can select the bucket and press on the screen and it will change the whole of the background. Now I need to add the text game over but to do that I have to click convert to vector. The next step would be to give it a reasonable name such as end and insert the text game over this is the end or whatever the message you want to send across better look next time. Once I've done that I'm going to place it in the middle of the screen and that's done. What I would like to do now is when the game ends make the crab, the egg and the strawberry disappear. To do this I'm going to need the event when I receive the message game over and then I'm going to use the hide block to hide the characters. I'm going to repeat this for all three of them so that when it ends the screen is blank. And of course to bring the crab back I'm going to use the show block when the green flag is clicked. To switch between the desert and the game over screen, I'm going to go to backdrops and click code in the top left hand corner. After this I need to get the event when I receive the game over message to go to looks and switch backdrop to end. And to switch it back to the desert I need to use the event when I click the flag switch the backdrop to desert now when I click the green flag it goes to the desert and when I catch the egg it goes to the game over screen the last thing we need at this stage is the score to do this we're going to need variables I'm going to create a new variable by clicking make variable I'm going to give the new variable name score and apply it to all sprites. I will then click on the strawberry and set the variable score to zero as soon as the flag is clicked. After this I'm going to select the block change my variable by one and place it in the if statement which says when the strawberry touches the crab so as well as hiding it will also make the score go up by one and now when the crab catches the strawberries the score goes up by one This is an optional extra but if you don't want to hide the crab you can also get it to say a message. So instead of the hide block we can use the say hello block and just change the text to whatever we like. In this case it says oh no I am really sad. Now when it catches the egg the crab says oh no I am really sad. In addition to this there are also other optional extras such as speed bonuses, more threats and multiplayer as well as sound that we can add to this in future videos. So if you found this useful please give it a thumbs up and comment what else you would like to see. Thank you.